Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire, and today I'm going to be trying another sauce from Botanist Alchemy. This one happens to be their loaded barrel sauce. It's intrigued me from when I first saw it, so I had to pick it up, and now I gotta try it with you guys. So, without further ado, I will get into the ingredients because I think you're gonna like this one. So, as usual, they're gluten-free, vegan-friendly, 100% uh, natural ingredients made here in Ontario, Canada. So, the ingredients are ghost peppers, which have been fermented for two years. It's two years of fermenting of these peppers, so they're sure they're going to give a good kick. Um, let's see here. Maple smoked peppers, tomatoes, garlic onions, distilled kabaka, kakbaka, I'm not sure what that word is, to be honest, um, pure sea salt, black pepper, cane sugar vinegar, cane sugar, cornstarch, and xanthan gum. So it's beautiful looking uh, picture of some ghost peppers that are being fermented. You always have a better picture here. Yeah, so let's give this a try and see how hot she's going to be. It says that she's a, a three on the heat level, according to their little peppers on the side here. So let's give this a try and get this sucker open. Oh, that's a nice peel. I like when it does that. So it's got a, not, I wouldn't say thin, but it's not thick, so kind of average consistency. Ooh. You can smell the ghost on it, for sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. it smells so good. Oh. <clears throat> All I can do now is get into it and try it. Ooh, a little more than I was expecting. This was a little thinner than I thought. But it's got a fairly thinner consistency. Moving quite easily on the spoon here. Oh, it smells absolutely divine. You smell the ghost peppers in there. It's just, mmm. Well, cheers to the Loaded Barrel from Bot Botanist Alchemy. That kind of just, that one slid right down my, through my throat. <clears> throat. Didn't really get a whole lot of taste for it. But what I could taste, it was actually pretty decent. I'll try some more in a minute. But the heat is, <clears throat> it's there. It's present. But it's not in your face. Like for me anyways, some people might find it <clears throat> quite. I'm trying to feel a little bit more in here because of how quick it went down. Whew. We can go back in for a little bit more for the taste wise here. <clears throat> it's not quite as big of a pour. So just a little drop to we're tasting. <clears throat> can definitely taste the garlic and the peppers, obviously. So into the tomato. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm tasting the onion or not. Hopefully not too much. No. The heat is there. <clears throat> I'd probably put it at about a a two for heat. It's present. 
But it's enough to make you go, whoo, but not enough to make you run for beverage or anything like that. So, flavor wise, probably gonna put that about a six. Good in flavor. You can distinctly tell what is in it. <clears throat> it's not blow you out of your socks, but it's not, oh, wow, well, what did I just eat? Because it's garbage. And it's above average. <laughs> But I've always found that Botanist does amazing work with their sauces. They're very well uh, balanced in flavor. And heats, they're not in it to kill you with the heat. They're in it to have heat for with the taste. So that, they do a good job with that. Their dessert ones, their fruit ones that I've done are absolutely amazing <clears throat> as well. I'll go back and check in the, the videos for some of those. I'll... Try to remember to put links in. Sometimes I'm bad at that. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty decent sauce. Just gotta watch with the onion content. But yeah, it's pretty decent sauce. Loaded Barrel by Botanist Alchemy. As I said, two in heat, a six on flavor. Give it a try. Go to the website. Order their sauces if you haven't tried them already. If you have, what do you think of this one? What do you think of their sauces in general? Um, let me know if you agree with me, disagree. Hey, comments are there for all types of things. So, yeah, just let me know. Don't forget to enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the usual stuff and you know what to do. And uh, who knows what I'll try next time. Could be something completely off the wall, like me, or it could just be something basic. Not like me. <laughs> but, see you later. <clears throat>